Okay, here's something to show you. Uh, local Harbor Freight Store, new stuff. They just set this up in the last day or two. Um, now, they've always sold these solar panel kits, and then you can get coupons for them, too. That, that's a $159 coupon. There's some $149 coupons. And one thing that's kind of neat about this is they, they come with the, the whole charge regulator and a couple of lights and stuff. But um, what they're doing now is they're coming up with a hub kit, so you can connect multiple solar panel kits. Uh, they're apparently going to be upgrading their panels uh, soon, too. Uh, they're going to be selling a 12-volt battery, a deep cycle for their systems, a charge controller that looks suspiciously like the one I bought direct from China. And uh, and then they've got this charge controller. Now, I'm going to wait for this other model to come out to see what it's like. They, it's a 30-amp, 12-volt. They call it a 500-watt unit. Um, that's kind of interesting. I, I, I definitely want to see that when it comes out. Um, now they talk about their DC to AC inverter plus that universal battery, but remember that 5-in-1 power pack I showed you in another video. That's really the better option for small scale systems. The other thing they're doing is this kit does have a little collection of wires and plugs for powering some other devices. And it had the, um, the little USB thing that I showed in my other video. Now they also sell a kit here that hasn't been incredibly popular. It's an 18 to 24 volt charger. It was, it had these types of plugs on it, okay, these little two-way two, two -way plugs. And they are, um, they were universal with some uh, solar power stuff that, that I saw back in the 90s over at Real Goods and a couple other places. Um, and um, uh, J.C. Whitney's did that type of a plug on some of their equipment mail order. So what they're selling is a combination of some of the plug adapters that come with their other kit plus uh, uh, this kit. And then they're selling it as an $8 package that includes these little plugs here so that you can use this type of charge controller and then run some more 12 volt stuff and, and basically stack your little systems and all of that. So it's, it's a series of adapter cables that uses their little polarized two-plug system, which I, I kind of like that system. The the other thing they just came out with, um, I haven't even seen it on a website yet, but they're they're finally doing their version of a, a fold-up camping backpacker solar panel that's uh, 5 watts, which is it's respectable for charging small portable devices off of UPS, uh, USB. I mean, and, and so it'll charge USB devices, can fit in the backpack. Um, I'm probably not going to get one because I, I already have that stuff kind of redundant in my vehicles. And um, if I'm going on foot, I'm, I'm just going to carry fully charged batteries. But some people are going to want something, something like this because it's a very portable system. And if you don't have a vehicle that's set up with charging points, then that's, that's probably a smart way to go. Um, looks pretty portable. I might buy one to check it out. They're 40 bucks Again, if you use a 20% off coupon, you get a good deal. Um, they've got this little battery charger here that charges some batteries. That's kind of interesting. And of course, a, uh, an electric fence controller. There's a, another guy on YouTube who was talking about uh, running that kind of a thing for his uh, bug in retreat with the electric fence. I, I don't know. But it's kind of neat. They're doing this uh, Thunderbolt Solar brand, is what they're shifting into as they kind of change their product lines and improve them. Um, this little thing okay for topping off like car batteries. I don't know. I've got a couple of them for a system and at 1.5 watts it's not enough to play with. But this is kind of an interesting little setup they're starting to do.